A typical day for me here at the STM and in Boston includes getting up nice and early in the morning, usually between 6 and 7 a.m. I might have a morning class at 8 or 8.30, although sometimes it's a little bit later than that. So I'll have class in the morning, I might say hello to a couple of people, and then usually I'll head over to work. I'm based in residential life and I work in residential ministry, and so a part of that for me is acting as a graduate minister. Usually my typical day includes meeting with students, so a part of that is meeting with resident assistants, and they often are planning Jesuit tradition and spirituality programs, and so we sit down together and collaborate on creating a program that best meets the needs of their residents, and that also helps to support the Jesuit tradition component of residential ministry here at Boston College. The MDiv program is a really intense three years. One of the most important pieces of studying theology for me is acknowledging the ways that we are all called to act as ministers in the world and how we are all called in our own vocation, in our own ways to accompany other people. And when I was looking at schools, I really was looking for a rigorous academic program in somewhere where I could be formed holistically. And I found that here at the STM, for me, they had the community and also the support faculty-wise and staff-wise in order to provide that experience. The STM has been a really formative experience so far in the sense that, you know, I'm here primarily to become a scholar, to grow as a scholar and hopefully go on to do my PhD and enter academia after this. Everyone here is open for a conversation, whether that's to push you or help you draw an idea out or just to sit down and have a conversation. So in terms of that particular goal in my life, the STM has been an incredible experience. I think being in the classroom here is a very intellectually stimulating experience. And usually I've found the classrooms to be a space that is genuinely open and genuinely a wonderful space for you to throw out an idea or to hear your classmate do the same thing. And you know, you're never gonna be met with silence. You're never gonna be met with crickets. Generally, people are gonna take that seriously and gonna help you walk you through that and discuss this. That time before class or work, usually I take to either prepare for class or to take a minute of silence. You know, the STM has a chapel here that I make use of all the time. I think that sense of purpose is really important to keep here at the STM because that time in the chapel that really keeps me grounded. Being a research assistant in the research assistant mentorship program has been a great experience. You know, this gives you access to a bunch of other faculty members who will come in and, you know, give their own thoughts, even if this isn't a faculty member that you're working with. But it also gives you access to a handful of other research assistants who are going through the same thing and working towards the same goals for their own mentors. I'm a research assistant for Professor Daniel Daly. Usually what that entails is, you know, helping him find a piece of literature that he's using in his own research, or he'll send me something that he's already written. And also him sharing best practices, not only just how to be a grad student and how to deal with all that's going on, but also, you know, research skills. And, you know, what is it like to go into academia and become a researcher or become a professor? At the Boston College School of Theology and Ministry, you will find openness and camaraderie. There is no space that in which you will not be able to intellectually thrive or be able to follow an idea. But at the same time, you're gonna find support in that. You're gonna find faculty members, you're gonna find peers who are gonna to wanna to support you and carry you through that. You are going to be challenged and led to become the best minister or scholar that you can become in a wonderful environment with wonderful people.